I remember the song I played then was it was Django Ray by okay. Naughty by Nature. So mm. instead of me playing where the vocals are, I flipped through where the instrumentals is and I played it. Okay. And today it sounded like something different, like yo, like do so these songs have instrumental. So that was where I started, and you know, I was sweating. It was outside, it wasn't hot, it was a December period where it was winter period, but I was sweating because I was just trying to get, you know, clips of people so that they can encourage me and like what I was doing. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips, you want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new, that are taking their DJing game to the next level, well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com every Monday, 9 a.m., new stories, new episodes, from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. Hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com. I remember my first ever gig was a carnival. Okay. Where um, I was in a hot seat. And, you know, I couldn't even flip music. <clears throat> mm. it, it was, it, to me, it was like a baptism of fire. Because <laughs> everybody... everybody Head that I was DJing, and you know they wanted to see what this little boy can come up with. I was okay. I was little, then. I was very very little, and I remember the song I played then was it was Jambo Ray by okay. by Nature. So uh, mm. instead of me playing where the vocals are, I flipped through where the instrumentals is, and I played it. Okay, and today it sounded like something different. Like yo, like do so these songs have instrumental. So that was where I started and, you know, I was sweating. It was outside. It wasn't hot. It was a December period where it was winter period, but I was sweating because I was just trying to get, you know, clips of people so that they can encourage me and like what I was doing. So then I, I make music in my studio. I have, I don't know if you can see, this is my studio where I play the keys. Please. Okay. Yeah. So I'm all around music. I play the keys, I play drums, I play bass, guitar. Mm. No, drums um, is kind of like my major. So that took me into, you know, looking for somebody who can help me um, build my creativity in DJing. So I looked up a friend, like a senior um, colleague right now in the industry, and I met with him, and um, we started going to the radio station. Yeah. And, you know, he took me to the radio station, one of the biggest radio stations in Nigeria. By the way, I'm from Africa and Nigeria. I'm from Nigeria. And, you know, we went to the radio station and I started building that confidence on playing on air, why people are not seeing you, but, you know, you know what you're doing. So this, this was about like 2008, 2009. And, you know, with that, he, he was a little bit famous. He was known in the industry. So all this time, I'm telling you, there was no whiskey, there was no Davido, there was no, there was nobody. It was just the OGs, like Two Face and the rest of them. Okay. I don't even know. It's just yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, it was very early. early be yeah, very early beginnings. Okay. Yeah, very early. So okay. you know, we started doing our thing, and all of a sudden there was a club in in in, in Lagos. The the um, it was called the Coco Lounge in Lagos. So this club was owned by some guys but what they did was to bring i don't know if you heard about the band yes the band yes man yeah i'm nigerian so, too, Igbo. okay, okay so they, what, they did, what they did was to invite the band to mm -hmm. be partly owner of the club coco lounge okay this was about 2008-9 there about so i was the i was the resident dj i was the official dj of the club so then the journey started. 